This handsome, bare-ass man was not performing art, but was busy manning an airplane gun and returning fire to the Japanese in the Pacific. This photo came from the hands of World War II war photographer Horace Bristol, who captured this mind-boggling scene in between fierce battles, which hit the headlines and was a big hit. But the young protagonist in the photo is not well known, and even to this day, no one knows his identity. On that day in February 1944, what the hell was he doing with the plane? The Japanese movie, The Great War of Archimedes, has this scene, in a fierce naval battle. The Yamato battleship gunners could not easily shoot down a US dive bomber, did not wait to cheer, you can see a seaplane from afar, quickly landed in the parachute near the US pilot, he rescued, leisurely take off from the battlefield. This scene directly to the Japanese gunners looks silly. The seaplane that made the Japanese feel desperate was the rescue angel for American pilots in the Pacific, the PBY-5 Catalina rescue seaplane. Although it was unattractive and slow, it was the most widely used seaplane during World War II, used for sea patrols and search and rescue missions for people in the water, and won the trust of all pilots, convinced that if they were shot down, the Catalina rescue would soon appear. The nickname, Katrina, did not exist from the beginning, but only after the PBY-5 entered service, and the reason for this was the two gunners firing bays in the middle of the fuselage. The earlier PBYs in service were not raised cups, but flat. And it was only after the PBY-5 was converted that Navy sailors gave it the feminine name of, Katrina. During the Battle of Rabaul, launched by the US Army at the end of 1943, PBY rescue aircraft were even busier with their feet beating the back of their heads. The Battle of Rabaul took place in an extremely rare large-scale air battle in World War II, the United States and Japan in a year's time, has sent more than 30,000 aircraft, fierce air battles, the Japanese lost more than 7,000 aircraft, more than 8. 000 Japanese pilots fell into the sea to feed the fish, after the battle, the Japanese Air Force no longer have the old days of bravado. From then on the road to extinction, the Battle of Rabaul was also known as the graveyard of the Japanese Air Force. During the battle, the war photographer Horace Bristol, responsible for the US Navy to shoot public relations publicity photos, this occupation is quite exciting, are present in the most intense places of the battle. The US Army has clear requirements for war photography, advocating not simply shooting war scenes, but to focus on shooting the specific people on the battlefield, shooting their struggles, shooting their pain, shooting their dreams, only then can move the audience. Horace Bristol faithfully followed this requirement and took many famous photos, and this one on February 19, 1944, is the most read one of this. On this day, a group of SBD dreadnought dive bombers, escorted by F-4U naval fighters, took off on an attack mission to Rabaul. One of the F-4Us was flown by Lt. Robert Schaefer, and in the midst of an aerial dogfight, a 20mm shell broke his control system and started a fire, and Lt. Schaefer was badly burned, but managed to parachute in and land at sea. But it was not safe here, Rabaul Bay was nearby. Japanese ships would sail by at any time, and Japanese fighters in the air strafed him from time to time. Schaefer swam out to sea with all his strength, so close to the enemy that he felt he was dead this time. Fortunately for Schaefer, his comrades, after seeing his parachute deploy, reported his position in time to provide important directions for subsequent rescue. After floating at sea for 25 hours, Schaefer finally heard the sound of a PBY rescue plane in the sky, and our photographer Horace Bristol was sitting in it at the moment. The PBY looks like a standard seaplane with a wide boat-shaped belly and a boat anchor mounted in the nose, a pair of Pratt Amp, Whitney R 1830 air-cooled engines hanging from a tall upper monoplane, and a float on each of the left and right wings that can be folded upward into wing ends to reduce wind resistance. Due to the need to take into account water dynamics and aerodynamics, PBY's aerodynamic shape design makes it difficult to fly at high speed. With a maximum flight speed of only 314 km per hour and a cruise speed of only 201 km per hour. But it is this slower flight speed that is particularly suitable for low-altitude search for people in the water. When Katrina found the surface of the Schaefer, immediately landed not far from the Schaefer is only 30 meters, but he was seriously injured, in a state of temporary blindness, not only do not know where to swim, and weakness simply cannot swim. The bad thing was that this position was so close to Rabaul that as soon as the Catalina landed, the Japanese shore guns started bombarding the area, ready to blow them to pieces. In a moment of crisis, the gunner on the plane volunteered to go and retrieve the blinded pilot, who quickly took off his flight gear, clothes, and boots, jumped into the sea naked, swam as fast as he could to Schaefer, and returned to the plane with the pilot in a matter of minutes against distant gunfire. As soon as the two boarded, the Katrina pilot immediately increased the throttle taxiing to take off, and the gunner boy did not have time to dress, 
immediately jumped back to his turret post, the Japanese are rushing this way, must leave this place as soon as possible. It was at this moment that photographer Bristol pressed the shutter and snapped this photo of a completely naked gunner, an exaggerated photo that immediately became the front page of several newspapers after their safe return. The photo of a naked, fierce man standing next to a machine gun in the middle of a fierce battlefield was exceptionally hot. But for some reason, Horace Bristol has never revealed the name of this webcam gunner. Although there are photos of this bare ass everywhere, his exact identity is still unknown to anyone. Maybe he has been killed in action, or maybe after the big battle, he just wants to be quiet and undisturbed. Thank you for seeing the end, and a special thanks for your continued support, we'll see you next time.